I think when it comes to mental health, one of the biggest pressures for youth is stress in general. There's a lot of expectations to be living up to. There's a lot of concerns to be thinking about at any given time. And so I think it's definitely a widespread sense of anxiety and depression that youth are facing. California continues to have a shortage of mental health counselors. In fact, on average, there's about one counselor for every 500 students. Young people need and deserve the supports. Their school communities want to help them and provide those supports, but they just aren't equipped to do it in the way that they would like to. We wanted to increase awareness so that folks knew what mental health was about and as a way of reducing the stigma and encouraging young people to seek help when they need it. I think uh, having the Wellness Together resources on our secondary campuses has been really a game changer. I feel better when I could just let out to someone I trust. I feel like we, we could talk about anything to the counselors. I think that's pretty great. So to have multiple options and outlets at the school and knowing that it's private and nobody will know about it is uh, it's pretty special. We've seen thousands, yes, literally thousands of students' lives changed as a result that again, may not have had a chance to access mental health services had it not been for the Blue Sky Initiative. The folks that you bring on campus um, understand that, you know, we have 38 languages in San Leandro. We're mostly black and brown. Um, many of us are coming um, from families who are working extra <laughs> to make things happen, and that we're bringing the kinds of counselors and services that, that are relatable. It's very important. It's, it's, I feel like it should like be everywhere in every school because, you know, different students deal with different things. We're trying to build mental health for not just when you're feeling bad, but also just as a form of taking care of yourself, your mind and body. So we're thankful to have folks who help us do that. It's a good thing when educators can feel more optimistic about providing mental health and that we're not just doing it from a place of intervention or, you know, in a reactionary way, but that we're getting excited about it because we know that there's a lot more we can do. Just being willing to listen and accepting the struggles that they're telling you is enough for a youth to feel validated in those emotions and feel like there's someone there who cares to help.